The qualifying event in Toulouse was great, not only because I finally made it for the Olympics, but I also made a decent time in speed. And at the moment, after annual two weeks break from climbing, I'm back in training and I'm focusing on the discipline which I'm the weakest in, and that's speed climbing. I've been training speed for the last couple of weeks with my training partner Richard, who also has qualified himself for the Olympics in Hachioji. So we are going to compete together. Sharing the training sessions is just so much easier. Původně jsem přijel do Česka studovat a pak jsem zjistil, že tady jsou dobré podmínky na na to lezení, což mě docela překvapilo, protože tak dobré stěny v Kazachstánu stále nemáme. A já si myslím, že to je dobrý trénink pro mě na tu olympiádu. Let's go running. Tak máš 7.55. Zastanula. Bylo by to dobré, kdyby to dalo jako víc doprava. Víc doprava. Kdyby to těch lidí dal do stěny a pak by to od toho odradil. Nejrychlejší lezec, který má rekord, to je Reza z Iránu a má čas 5.46. Mimo osobním rekordem je 5.88. Plánuji teď na Olympiádu dělat světový rekord. Je zajímavé, že, že jsme sice konkurenti, ale přitom máme dobré vztahy a rádi se spolu trénujeme. V tréninku na rychlost si určitě se nějak natočíme, abychom věděli, jak správně děláme pohyby a určitě bychom mohli se zaměř, zaměřit tu, ten čas, v podstatě, kolik které dáme. Podle toho videa právě můžeme zjistit, kdy to bylo špatně a nějak to korigovat, ty, ty pohyby. Já se tady prostě zastavím a trvá mi tady. Speed training is not only just working on the fitness, on the power, but it's also a lot about the technique. And during the training, you have to work on the technique a lot, especially for me, who is basically more still like a beginner, and I have still a lot to explore in this discipline. This was actually a really good try. Wow, I'm quite happy. Seems like I keep improving. Podle mě má Adam na to má a mohl by klidně udělat čas něco po 650. The nails are probably the most tricky part of the body that you really need to take care really well because as you are just trying to climb as fast as possible, you're always like scratching the wall with your nails and they're breaking a lot. And if the nails are really really short, then the possibility of getting the split underneath the nail is really high and when it happens it gets really really painful. Speed climbing is a tough game. <laughs> For speed climbing, you need to be really explosive, both in your arms, but in the legs as well. Adam má vlastně moc rezervy, aby se zlepšil. Hlavně, že už začíná přicházet k němu ta výbušnost. 
I'm lucky that today Richard is not competing <laughs> or not training so I don't have to be embarrassed because I have never done these kind of things Olympic format definitely requires some explosive power even in the legs point, 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 point. Dave, Dave, point, point. <laughs> for speed climbing you really need like this raw power which is really really difficult to train by just climbing itself or even on a campus board that's why i started doing even a little bit of training in the gym by lifting the weights even though it's really weird for me when i enter the gym in general in order to build this power and explosive power, you need to make exercises which are short and with quite a lot of rest. You just need to give everything into that one moment, just like speed climbing. Here in my climbing gym, we are doing various exercises, focusing on the explosivity, mostly of my legs. And this is where it gets really tough because I'm looking at the campus board, looking at the wall, and I'm not climbing and it's hard. Before I started these couple of weeks of speed climbing training focus, I was really worried that I would struggle with the motivation a lot. But Richard is a great help because we are training together and it's easy to get motivated. It's, it's motivating to feel a little bit stronger, to go a little bit faster. It's not as bad as I expected, even though I can't wait to start climbing properly again. What can you look forward to? In the next weeks, I'll be climbing a little more on the rock. And as I want to be kind of sane mentally, because speed climbing for a couple of weeks is, is not that easy. So I'm gonna go to Catalonia to climb a little bit on the rock. And then I will start training properly for lead and boulder. And the training is gonna be hard. <laughs>